Hey, my name is SK3, and here are my FX bank skills for the DJM S11. The DJM S11 comes with six speed effects and six software effects in a default setting, but you can customize all these to your preference. And not only the beat effects, also the color effects are saved to your effect banks. You can recall your effect banks holding down shift and pressing the left or right parameter button. This is how you use the setting utility to customize the effects. You have two different sides, the beat effect side and the software effect side. And you can choose from the drop down menu which effects you want to assign to the certain button. These are the effects you can choose from. Not only can you save the effects, but also the parameters that are assigned to the effect. So if you want to have a different high pass filter setting on your echo, it will be saved to your effect bank. And if you're done finding your favorite effects for your effect bank, you can save it to a bank. You do this with this button over here. Save it to bank A and then you're done. What is really cool is that you can have beat effects and software effects on either side. So you can choose on the beat effects side to have beat effects or software effects. And also on the software effects side, you can choose to save even more of the beat effects or use the software effects from your DJ software. You can load up to 12 different effects on the different effect banks. So you can have up to uh, 48 different effects combinations with these four banks. For me personally, I have these effects on all of my four effects banks. I just change the color effects with the knobs. So if I go to bank A, it's the white filter. Bank B is the pitch. Bank C is noise and bank D, I use the dub echo. So it makes me really easy to change the color effects for the filter knob on my mixer.